Evening world, it's 7.30 in the evening. Excuse my somewhat dishevelled appearance. I've been at it for about 13 hours today, organising this green gathering that I'm one of the people running. Boy, if you have a bunch, dealt with a bunch of people who always at the very last minute want to come in and offer you workshops on navel gazing or toe fluff reading or yogurt weaving, it's great. Not. And uh, it kind of taxes one's humour after a period of time. Fortunately, I have the astrology to keep me sane. And <laughs> as a relative statement, I assure you. Um, so let's just, just so that I can say I've done it, let's get this horoscope of the baby that was born. Uh, what was that? What was the headline I saw yesterday on the front of Private Eye? Private Eye. Woman has baby. Great. There was a baby born at 4.24 yesterday afternoon, making the baby with the sun at 29 degrees 58 at Cancer, in at the very back door, with the moon at 28 and one third degrees of Capricorn. So born about four hours before the full moon, with 27 degrees of Scorpio rising. And yeah, the grand trine between Saturn, Jupiter and Neptune and Mars is prominent. Venus is, is kicking in also as part of the five, six-pointed star that's coming. The only serious opposition in the chart, in the child's chart, is from Venus to Neptune, Sun to Moon, maybe Mars, Jupiter to Pluto. That's the real stinker. Um, but not too strong. I'm not too worried by this. Mercury Uranus square, that's a difficult one. Mercury Uranus, Mercury Pluto opposition. This child's stuff is all in the eighth house and he's got Scorpio rising. So you can be sure he'll be a deep one. And he has a very strong affinity with his grandmother's chart. Uh, his great grandmother's chart. Not Diana, but the Queen. So there is quite a strong similarity there. I'll explore this over coming months. Um, but it is nice to see a baby's born with what I see as the, the kite, the grand shrine, the mystic, uh, but the bucket there. And it's all shaping up for this six pointed star, but this is the continuation of. Now Saturn's in place, Jupiter's in place, Neptune and Pluto are in place. Venus moved into place yesterday and today and over the coming two or three days it's going to get stronger. And as of about now, five of the six planets are in place. The moon will move into place in about five or six days time. And for a period of about 12 hours, there will be a strong pattern of six planets in an equidistant hexagon, hexagram, with the Earth in the centre to equidistant to our naked eye around the Earth. Viewed from any other point in the solar system or from outside the solar system, it would just look random. It is only from our perspective that this hexagon hexagram happens. So what is coming up, the events of this will be peculiar to planet Earth and its inhabitants, not so much the universe or the solar system at large. Nevertheless, I've never really seen anything like this. Even with the Grand Cross of 99 or the Grand Crosses that have been around recently, even the Uranus Pluto square, I've never seen nothing quite like what's coming up on the 29th of this month. Now, I can only see this as auspicious. I seem to remember doing a set of videos recently about impossibilities, where I showed you um, how the positions and orbits and speeds of the planets can be proven to be non-random, not accidental. Take that one step further and for this pattern to be in its place to this time. You guys know me. I'm down to earth. I'm solid. I'm grounded. A spade is a spade. I don't do fluffy. I don't do hippy dippy. Nevertheless, I've never seen anything like this. And it does seem to me that we may get some type of phenomena associated with this that could be vastly mistaken by the less ignorant, by the more ignorant, for some type of sign or omen. But nevertheless, I am expecting some type of, uh, I've got to be so careful with my words here, visible phenomena associated with this 
the like of which we've not seen before. Something's coming. And I'm actually quite excited by it. And I think it might change everything. Of course, I'm only an astrologer. What do I know? I could just be making it all up, but I'm not. Catch you on the rebound. See you in the morning. Good night.